This repair tutorial is a guideline only. Consult a professional if unsure or do at your own risk. Hey name tags, this is Ash from Heal My PC 99 Quick one for you today, a client's laptop which doesn't want to boot up. This is the Toshiba Satellite L50D-B-151. The client wants a new OS, namely a Windows 8.1 reinstalled as he believes it only needs a clean reinstallation which will solve the problem. But when we turn it on, we only get the Toshiba logo screen and it remains stuck there. That means the laptop is not even booting up into the BIOS, the basic input-output system. Hence, it can't initiate anything like the CPU, RAM or disk, etc. Meaning it will not boot up into any operating system even if you insert another live OS or a repair USB disk at this stage. This means possible hardware failure ranging from RAM, power supply or even motherboard failure. Unfortunately, I can't show you a quick RAM fix here since the client will be returning this laptop still under warranty to the seller, and attempting to remove the back cover for RAM and other components access may void this warranty. Click the link below or in the annotation to see a possible RAM repair in case of computers not booting up. It's also possible but unlikely in this case that this is a power supply issue, with the charger sending the wrong voltage. Again, if you don't have a digital multimeter, it's quite difficult to test the charger. Click the link below or the annotation for testing the charger with a digital multimeter. The only thing we can do here is do a hard reset. Switch off the laptop, unplug the charger, turn the laptop over. In this particular model, we need to remove two small screws holding the battery. Remove the battery, turn it back over, press and hold onto the power button for about 15 seconds or more to drain any residual electrical charge. Plug the charger back in without the battery and turn the laptop back on. In some cases, this hard reset can solve laptops not booting up. In this case, unfortunately, there are possible further hardware issues which we cannot test here. Hopefully this may have helped you, if nothing else at least, to know that until you get the hardware tested, there is no point of considering a clean reinstallation with this kind of symptom. Try the other repair tutorials in the annotation and link below. Once again guys, thank you so much for watching and if you want to see more content, remember to subscribe if you haven't done so yet. And also give me a like, dislike, comment and share this vid. Until next time, peace out.